Okay, here is topic about asset beta, equity beta, and debt beta. We just finished the discussion of capital asset pricing model, the security market line, and uh, we show um, an example um, about how to get the a cost of equity by applying the capital asset pricing model. And here we go into the next topic is about asset beta, equity beta, and debt beta. Um, we just mentioned about the equity beta, right? The equity beta is the relationship between a company risk or company uh, company risk to the overall market risk. Okay, the equity beta. And here come back here if, for example, asset beta, equity beta, and debt beta. For asset beta, okay, for asset beta, it shows the business risk alone. So if the company has no debt, the equity beta is same as asset beta. Okay, if there's no debt, asset beta is same as equity beta. Because it only shows the business operations only. And when a company takes debt, its gearing increases and financial risk is added on to the business risk. So it's not only business risk, it has a financial risk. So the equity beta okay, is the sum of business risk and financial risk. Okay, it's the equity beta. It increased, okay, uh, when the gearing increases. And one question, in general, okay, we have asset beta, we have equity beta, Do you think if there's a gearing, do you think which sign is correct? One or two? If we have gearing, which sign is correct? Asset beta is greater than equity beta or asset beta is smaller than equity beta if there's a gearing. Yes, it's two. Okay, it's two. Because equity beta consider both financial risk and business risk, but asset beta only considering the business risk. And here is the formula you are provided in the formula sheet. Okay, so remember this topic will be exam, okay, because you have you are given in the formula sheet. That's an asset beta formula. Okay, you have the asset beta, equity beta, and debt beta. And don't forget, here it gives you the V, E, and VD. Okay, in general, we use market value of company shares and market value of company debt. Okay, in the calculation. Okay. And for the total value of the company is VD plus VD, because you have the tax, then you have some tax um, benefits by gearing. Okay, here we apply the formula, okay, to show you how to get uh, the asset data. In, the, in this question, in this question, you are given the beta, the equity beta is 1.2. You are given the equity beta is 1.2. That beta is 0.1, okay? And the equity market value is 
six million. The before uh, tax value for debt is 1.5 million, and tax rate is 25 percent. Okay, applying the formula, you have to find the market value of a company first. Right? So the company value is 7.125. And then you can find the asset beta. By applying the formula, okay. So here is the um, just put the parameters into the formula, then you can get the set beta. So what's the application? Okay, on this illustration, we share with you about asset betas, equity betas, and debt betas. A lot of betas. So, what is it relevant? Okay, why I need to to remember so many betas, or so the, why I need to understand the concept? Okay, because of the next topic.